Hello, and welcome to the fourth of six video presentations designed to acquaint you with the third edition of the CQI-12 Coding System Assessment. These videos will familiarize you with the document layout and the overall process, train you on how to complete each section, and provide insight into the exact expectations for completion of the assessment. The AIAG Continuous Quality Improvement, or CQI-12 Assessment, was developed as a self-assessment to help automotive suppliers develop a planning management system to meet the coding industry's best practices. A team of process experts, including chemical suppliers, industry consultants, applicators, and automotive OEMs contributed to the development of this document. This video covers Section 4, the Job Audit, which guides the assessor through a series of questions focused on the full process, beginning with receiving and ending with the shipping of a specific part. Any part utilizing the covered coding process can be chosen to audit, so long as the part is for an automotive OEM. However, it is preferred to audit a safety-related or other critical part. This assessment requires only one job audit be performed in order to be conforming. If the assessor chooses to perform only one yearly audit, it is suggested to use a different OEM customer part the following year. Ideally, a separate job audit will be conducted specific to each OEM customer every year. Instructions are provided in the accompanying Word document to guide the assessor through the job audit worksheet. Choose a part that is packaged for shipping at the time of the audit. The part must be fully coded and processed through all subsequent steps. The job audit walks back through the process, identifying all documentation and controls for that specific batch of parts. Populate the worksheet header with the requested job identity information. For the specific number and revision, ensure that the standard revision number is the correct change level. Every OEM reviewing this document will focus on this question and verify that the current revision is in use. For each item, the assessment allows for three ratings, conforming, non-conforming, or not applicable. When the actual condition fully meets the guidance, the rating is conforming. When the actual condition does not fully meet the guidance, the rating is non-conforming. These ratings are not judgments, but observations. The reviewing customer will determine if the ratings assigned by the assessor or assessment team are acceptable to their requirements. When a rating of non-conforming is assigned, the applicator should review the existing conditions and or practices and determine whether improvements should be made or if the current practice is justified. Justification should be described in the objective evidence and comments section for each item. The rating of not applicable or NA should only be used when the item does not apply to the process under review. For each inspection element of the job audit, review the status for the part being audited. Add relevant documents as PDFs and describe the actual condition. Include the rating as to whether the condition fully meets the expectation. Note that in question 4.2, the actual change level of the specification is reviewed again. This is important to the OEMs. Question 4.8 refers to the actual process conditions at the time of coding of the audited part. In the process table, populate the job audit measurement section with the control plan stated range and the measured condition. Insert a PDF of the process table into the job audit document, including the ratings. Question 4.20 covers all of the product inspection tests completed for the specific audited part. An example can be found immediately below the 4.20 header, demonstrating how to complete this portion of the audit. For each test completed, record data in its own separate section. Sections have been included for two tests. Copy and paste in extra sections as needed. In summary, the job audit is an effective way to verify the many process and management aspects covered in a full audit. It is to be completed on a critical OEM part. Your organization will make the best impression with the customer by providing an audit of a part specific to that OEM, so multiple job audits are valuable. The job audit should be completed as the final step of the coding system assessment. Note that a separate CQI-12 assessment is required for each unique process and or coding line. Correspondingly, each assessment requires a unique job audit specific to the process under review. Join us next for video 5, which covers the process tables and the new form builder function. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, contact quality at AIAG.org. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.